Hi guys, Dr. K here and we've got the badass piano accordion out of its box. Say hello accordion. Hello. <laughs> and the thing about the accordion is, you know, uh, the accordion has its lovers, it's got its haters, some people don't think it's a proper instrument, other people think it's a wonderful instrument and it's often associated with various forms of music, for example, often uh, Irish music. Shall we do a bit of a jig? Go on. Camera person. Yes, I'll ready to rock and roll. Am I right. having to dance? You can, you can actually do a bit, bit of a, a close-up if you want, camera person. So we've got Irish music on the accordion. <laughs> Okay, camera person, you were getting a bit excited there. And also nearer to the kind of boogie blues, we've got the old Cajun accordion sound, which is a great accordion sound. It's often played on the button accordion in Louisiana, and the Cajun sound is kind of like this. <laughs> and we've got the Irish and we've got all sorts of different music we've got the Parisian kind of thing <laughs> So forth. So it's it's actually a great instrument uh, to go busking with if you want to earn a, some some quick cash. I mean, even here in North London, we see quite a few people playing the accordion, don't we, camera person? We do indeed. Yeah. So, so you know, you're never going to be short of some money if you've got an accordion and you can go out. Now the thing is, if you're a piano player, the question is, can you play the accordion? And the only thing you've got to remember is two things. First of all, note that the keyboard, camera person, if you want to stand up. You, you're kind of freaking me out because you're sitting down a lot. The, the, the keyboard is obviously facing down this way, so if you look at it from my angle, right over my head camera person, if you come from where, that's how it looks like. So you're looking at it from a different angle, so you're not facing it flat like a piano. So that's the first difference. And also you've got the left hand here, and this is the biggie. Can you see the left hand? You might want to stand over there, camera person, to get a good view. And for example, this is where most piano players fall over because this is a world unto itself. I'm going to play you the C major scale. And this is the G scale. And you play chords like this. This is, for example, a G chord. G minor, G7, G diminished. So the main difference is the angle of the keyboard and also the left hand. But if you can master those two things, then you've got your accordion. And I thought today we might do some accordion blues, because you don't often find blues on the accordion. So what we're going to do is camera person might try and do her, her dexterous camera person-like things. And here we go. <laughs> accordion as well. You don't often hear uh, blues on the accordion, often you hear it on the harmonica. The harmonica and the accordion sound uh, familiar in some respects, but they have obviously differences. So what I encourage you to do is if you're just stuck on the piano, why don't you pick up another instrument and try it? I mean, the other instrument that I play is the occasional the, the accordion, because we like to keep in touch with our Irish roots, don't we, camera person? We do indeed. And uh, what other instrument could you play to help you with your piano studies? That's a rhetorical question. I thought you were asking me. Well, what could, other instrument could you play, camera person? Uh, I can play the recorder. Apart from your vocals. I can play the recorder. 
Okay. Uh, no, okay, maybe I not. I think you better quit while you're ahead. Okay, sorry. <laughs>